Hello all, welcome to Sunrise Learning and uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, Cisco Call Manager version 14 licenses and uh, this uh, video is uh, totally about uh, CUCM 14 version licenses and uh, what are the benefits of using uh, CUCM 14 licenses and uh, what it has the more advantage um, compared to other versions uh, that we have like the 9, 10, 7 or 8 that we are going to discuss and uh, so let's start the video and uh, I welcome you all so uh, like uh, this video is going to be um, uh, like uh, these are the some four uh, topics in which we are going to focus the type of the licenses uh, uh, are available into the CUCM uh, version 14 and uh, what are the benefits uh, that uh, CUCM 14 version offer uh, other than uh, over to the other version and uh, how we can uh, install or update the licenses uh, into this uh, by enabling a, res a reservation feature and at the end like uh, since it's a uh, updated version so uh, there would be some advantage and as well as the disadvantage of using this uh, CUCM 14 so that we are going to discuss at the end of the slide like uh, how many endpoints it's going to support what are all the series that it's going to support and what the all the series that it's not going to support so let's start now and uh, so CUCM does uh, support these kind of the licenses uh, first one is a uh, like UC manager essential um, manager basic and hence and hence plus and uh, CUWL and telepresence room so these are the some six uh, major licenses um, that does uh, CUCM support and like uh, basic enhance uh, it almost the same uh, which like uh, the version uh, of the Cisco or uh, the CUCM version does support so but like uh, CUCM has a more advantage as compared to 11 and 12 and uh, that we are going to discuss so like the first license is uh, was the uh, UC manager essential so this license uh, it's like a kind of a uh, basically use uh, when you have your AT adapter uh, in your environment like uh, when your fax machine is you are using a fax uh, uh, through the voice gateway and uh, you are having a AT 186 and 187 so uh, just to enable that uh, just to use that feature you'll have to uh, purchase those licenses so that license is just about that one second one is uh, like the UC manager basics so these are the basic licenses uh, um, like uh, for some calling features you need uh, uh, which uh, like uh, which was required on a Cisco uh, 6911 and 6921 and, and hence uh, these are the those licenses like uh, which the endpoint which does support the uh, video calling as well as your uh, like uh, the same uh, phone that you can use it in your desktop so these are those licenses that we are going to uh, these are uh, and hence are basically required for that only and there is a specific series like 7 and, uh, 799 and 1800 and 1900 series so for specifically those licenses uh, uh, Cisco does uh, uh, of, uh, like uh, uh, offer us to purchase uh, enhanced licenses and uh, the third one is a UC manager and hence plus UC manager CWL no sorry uh, UC manager and hence plus so these are like uh, um, uh, these are those licenses like uh, when you have a phone in your environment and uh, you want to associate a one and user to that one so basically it's basically used for the those licenses so that uh, um, um, you can uh, you can use that uh, device in your environment and uh, th the fourth one is uh, UC Manager CWL uh, support Cisco Advanced Voice video calling feature like the desktop and mobile uh, professional collaboration uh, like uh, you are using a jabber or uh, uh, same on the phone and as well as on your desktop so these are these are uh, this type of the licenses required for that feature and uh, like uh, and uh, last one is a UC Manager telepresence room so uh, we all know that uh, um, um, just for using that feature you'll have to purchase uh, some licenses uh, uh, so these uh, uh, so before using a telepresence or to configure onto the CCM you'll have to purchase some licenses and you'll have to install them so <coughs> UC manager licenses is uh, specifically for those even even if you're using a spark uh, so it, you'll have to purchase it the, those licenses so uh, like uh, as we said uh, 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 it's a latest version so they might be having some positive uh, um, as compared to other uh, CUCM we have uh, 
so what does uh, CUCM support uh, or like the version uh, 14 have uh, which is uh, not given by to the other uh, uh, CUCM version that we have so like uh, all, uh, as you uh, as you know that uh, Cisco uh, 9 and 10 uh, or even 8 and 9 uh, version they do, they do support uh, 22 uh, 20,000 or 30,000 30, max phone uh, but uh, when we are, when we are upgrading our CUCM to 14 then uh, it does allow us to use uh, 50,000 devices or 50,000 endpoints or uh, so Cisco phone we can configure on that uh, uh, for, per, per server and if it is a mega cluster then you can have up to uh, like one like the uh, phone you can configure on uh, on that uh, CUCM server so and second feature is like the call persistency it does support like the LTE to the Wi-Fi uh, Wi-Fi support uh, uh, nowadays like uh, everyone is uh, using a Wi-Fi uh, no, Wi-Fi over uh, over to the call so this uh, CUCM does support that feature so uh, basically it's used uh, like uh, when you have a less uh, network coverage in your area and you want to make a call through your Wi-Fi so uh, it does support that feature and uh, second was a uh, third one is a MRA registration failover support like uh, uh, when you're using a jabber and uh, there is a, some outage or so it does uh, uh, identify very quickly and uh, deregister and and uh, change the path and uh, make a call to uh, to the another uh, CUCM and, uh, and the fourth, uh, the last one is the A1 codec. Uh, so this 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 is a new type of the codec which is uh, available into the CUCM 14. And uh, the benefit of this is like uh, it allow uh, uh, it allow user to join the video call even on the low bandwidth, uh, even on the normal bandwidth or or or, or, or onto the low bandwidth uh, without compromising on the quality of uh, video. So and um, and uh, like um, the, the last two uh, points are the same things and uh, last one is like uh, registering a uh, phone from office to the phone so like uh, when you when a user is using a phone into the office and and he's um, you want to use that phone into the home so there is no need to um, reconfigure that one so CUCM 14 does allow you to um, like uh, configure that uh, without uh, without onboarding uh, or like uh, without uh, reconfiguration you can use that phone into, into your home environment as well <coughs> so like uh, um, everyone knows that uh, uh, previously like uh, you'll have to uh, uh, install the licenses on uh, um, like ELM and uh, here uh, there is a, some uh, centralized uh, Cisco smart licensing feature and uh, through that one like uh, you can purchase or, or delete any licenses that you have in your environment and uh, uh, that we are going to discuss later on you so uh, here it is also telling us uh, it's like uh, um, when we are using a Cisco workspace licenses so all the things like uh, which are um, uh, it does support everything and uh, uh, like uh, Cisco Spark, Telepresence and everything it's going to support because uh, uh, it's a advanced version so it's, uh, it's going to support everything and uh, the last one uh, here in this slide like uh, it is telling us uh, Cisco reservation feature uh, follow so uh, like this is the step that we have to do uh, when we are upgrading the licenses or uh, um, or to the CUCM version so these are the some steps which I have uh, noted down for you and it's going to help you to uh, like uh, uh, like updating a licenses or for uh, making a uh, from updating up from demo licenses to the permanent licenses so in the first phase uh, first step like it is telling us to log in into the CUCM CLI or um, and enter the blow command license smart reservation enable so first thing like you'll have to enable those licenses um, or the code and then you see the licenses registration status in the web, web interface so like once you enable that uh, CLI command uh, uh, onto the CUCM CLI by uh, login login onto with uh, uh, administrator and the password licenses so after that like you'll able to use the web interfaces uh, through that one like you can update the licenses and uh, second one is like again in the CLI command so there is a code that you have to generate and uh, that code you have to send it to the Cisco and uh, 
and Cisco then send you to the original licenses or some dummy licenses that you can use in your lab environment so like uh, uh, then uh, once like you're going to do this uh, it's going to generate a code and uh, you uh, copy the code and send it to the Cisco partner once uh, like there is some kind of a code that's going to generate and uh, you'll have to send that code uh, to your Cisco and uh, Cisco is going to send you the licenses so that that licenses you'll have to re re uh, and, uh, update those licenses I'll tell you in the next slide where you're going to upload it so so once you receive that it's going to receive with the code or uh, in the code it's basically uh, Cisco has uh, uh, decrypted that so like uh, by default it's dummy licenses maybe they are going to allow you 200 or uh, 50 kind of uh, free licenses so this was the page uh, through that one like the, uh, it's basically used uh, just for checking the licenses or uh, type of the licenses that you required um, uh, in your environment uh, like here if you see this uh, CWL and hence plus and hence basic and essential so this was the licenses page through that one you can check um, how many licenses you required uh, um, and uh, you can like uh, you, you can design or uh, you can order uh, as per the uh, phones you have in your environment or the type of the end endpoints you have in your environment so uh, uh, so once you are going to update uh, once you are going to update that uh, registration code uh, it's going to tell you here uh, it's going to specify the number of the uh, endpoint uh, that Cisco has allowed you or the licenses that you have purchased here so like suppose 20 CWL uh, licenses you have purchased so it's going to display here 20 so these are the uh, like uh, they are uh, I forgot to tell you that they are some uh, temporary and uh, um, and permanent licenses like uh, initially like when we don't have uh, uh, when we request them these are the uh, temporary licenses so after they have the limitation like 20 days 30 days normally th 60 days they have so after 60 days those licenses uh, expired and uh, this is the grace time period that the Cisco give it to you uh, in the meantime that you can purchase the original licenses uh, or the permanent licenses from Cisco so once you are going to upload those permanent licenses so uh, this the count is going to remain fixed here and uh, these are the permanent licenses so uh, after that like uh, you don't need to like uh, 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 like your uh, the endpoint will not deregister or you'll not face any worse uh, issues So uh, this is the same slide that we have discussed like, like the license usage report and uh, uh, so license usage report is basically tell you uh, like uh, suppose you have a hundred uh, endpoint in your uh, environment and uh, you have just installed uh, only 20 licenses so uh, it will uh, it will tell you uh, like that you have a uh, 20 licenses and 80 licenses you need to purchase like in this slide so here it's going to tell you the number of the licenses you have and uh, uh, and uh, how many additional you need to buy and uh, uh, so it is uh, in this slide like I have uh, mentioned every step that you're going to uh, follow for purchasing a licenses or to just to see the count uh, uh, device count summary how many devices are and you can also generate a report and uh, send it to your uh, management or to the client uh, to, so that they can uh, purchase uh, additional licenses uh, or the required licenses for a, for a proper functioning of uh, this one uh, or of any organization and uh, from this one like uh, this step uh, it is telling you from where you can navigate and uh, generate a uh, Cisco, uh, uh, report uh, the number of the used licenses and uh, number of the same same thing is repeated uh, in this one so it's totally depend upon uh, your uh, licenses are I can say that it's totally depend upon the endpoint you have and um, <coughs> sorry so <coughs> so uh, like once you have installed the uh, uh, CUCM 14 so every organization has a um, every version has some limitation and uh, as well as some positive points so CUCM um, so before uh, my recommendation is like before upgrading to the CUCM 14 uh, you should check uh, on the endpoint uh, whatever the endpoint you have in your organization 
लाइक दे बिकॉज सी सी जी एम फोर्टीन अब सपोर्ट ओनली द लेटेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ सिप एंड एज वेल एज एस सी सी पी पोन सो बिफोर अपग्रेडिंग यू नीड टू चेक वेदर इट्स गोइंग टू सपोर्ट और नॉट सो देर इज़ अ कंपेटेबिलिटी मैट्रिक्स दैट यू हैव यूल हैव टू फॉलो बिफोर अपग्रेडिंग एनी लाइसेंस और before upgrading the version so these are the end points uh, i have left it down for you which is uh, going to be supported uh, uh, in 14 version and uh, and uh, and th- there is a no surety like uh, if you are using a old phone 799 series or uh, and uh, as if it is not mentioned in the compatibility matrix and you upgrade the firmware so there is a no guarantee that cisco says uh, that the phone is going to work or not so always follow the compatibility matrix you have and uh, before move, moving on to the phone uh, version 14 so cisco uh, 3900 series of the phone it's going to support uh, sip phone and uh, 3905 uh, uh, 3905 second ip phone is a 6900 series almost same series that we have but uh, uh, you you uh, um again i recommend you to check the compatibility matrix uh, before upgrading uh, any uh, uh, before moving on to this version because uh, it's a new version and uh, so uh, most of the end point like the um it's uh, uh, some old series it's not going to support so all it's always good always a good practice to uh, refer the compatibility matrix and uh, this is the url that you can check uh, uh i have i have listed down for you so um, in this one like you can check uh, uh, what does the end point uh, uh, what is the end of the support uh, from cisco side uh, if you are uh, uh, if you have moved to this version and uh, you have some uh, end points which are going to be uh, cisco stop going to support them so you can refer that link and uh, in this link like uh, you're going to see um, the number of the devices which are uh, Uh, end of sale from Cisco side or Cisco has stopped supporting them, and uh, so um, th- these are the some series uh, which uh, Cisco says that uh, uh, if you uh, like uh, if you're using a 14 uh, 14 version, then uh, these are the uh, um, series uh, will not be will not be able to use them, and uh, so like um, as I said previously, always uh, good practice to check the compatibility matrix, and. Uh, some these are the old phones like uh, mostly 6 uh, 6900 series uh, these are specifically uh, i have noted down uh, uh, these series which is not going to support so and uh, this is the end of the module uh, of for this uh, cusm 14 licenses i hope you like this video uh, i request you to please leave uh, your comment or any questions that that you have uh, um uh against this video or you like or you want me uh, uh you want any new topic to be uh, i should share with you so your comments are always welcome i hope you li- uh, like this video and uh, kindly subscribe this channel for uh, more and uh, upcoming videos uh, uh, from sunrise learning thank you